Hello everyone. Just a quick reminder that we're jumping right into this battle. Right, welcome everyone. This Total War Warhammer 2 Let's Play. Make this my front line. Stick it somewhere over here towards one side. Group them. They have no archers. Well, no basic archers, so I'll stick my archers just behind. Group them. Take them off skirmish. Oh, I do have some basic spearmen here. Actually, you know what then? No, 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 what we're going to do is we're going to do this. We're going to group. Where is their Sphinx? Towards the middle. We're going to group you here. And your job is going to be nuke that damn Sphinx. Let's put you there. If you beside them, you're going to heal him right away. Group those two together so they stay close. Group these horses together over here. Are they the archer ones? I would imagine we don't have that much firepower compared to these guys. We'll group them, we'll see if we can deal with them. Let's go his book. Stick him here. The black. Group the ghouls at the back here. Oh, he's meant to go there. Group uh, 19, we'll just start deployment at that. What have we got here? The Fate of Juna, Spirit Leech, Soul Blight, and Aspect of the Dread Knight. Okay. He's gonna have to come to me. Oh, that's sore. I think when I was ill at the beginning of the year, I've uh, damaged, bruised a rib or something down low. And uh, I've seemed to have developed a cough in the past couple of days, and then I felt some click, and I've been really sore in the area where it was bad at the beginning of the year. It was just starting to heal and go away, which is a pain. So I think I've bruised a rib or something. Apparently, the only time you start getting worried is then if you start coughing up blood, but it's nowhere near my lungs, so I don't anticipate I will. Apart from that, a doctor would apparently just tell me to... rest it. Go after the archer ones first. Come on. Yeah, you know, just pull back, pull back, pull back, chariots are charging! Set the pill back. Why did you stop? What? Why are you not? Turn skirmish mode off. Just go what I tell you. Is. Derpy, derpy thing. Right, turn skirmish mode back on in case I forget about you. I'll pull you back over there. You just come round away from the archers. They have some horse archers too. It's not fair. It's not very sportsmanlike. Oh, they're going after my horsemen with those archers. It's not very nice either. Spearmen as such, charge! Arkan. Spirit Leech. Over there. Kill your buddy.
Let's take the swordsman, tell him to charge forward. Charge! Charge! Ghouls, you can now come around. Ah, screw them. Charge into there. Did you ever get that? Where's the uh, tomb guard? There we go. Cast on them. Now on the tomb guard. There we go. They're his tomb guard, so we'll get a spell on them too if we can. Come on, do your job. Oh, spearmen. They're still. Chariot's nearly done. Where's those ghouls? Then why'd they get engaged there? Kill that last chariot already. Spirit Leech. Finally, Fear of Yuna. Who out of there? Get that cast. My scorpion heal up even more. Things are going relatively well, apart from here. But what do you expect against the Sphinx? Rearrange my army slightly. So let's get all the archers to target these units. <coughs> Take them out. This damn Sphinx. It's gold chevron that's a pain in the booty. What is Arkin? Ah, oh, he's over there. Ah, oh, we wasted all our stuff already. Right, that unit's disintegrating. Archers change target to the horse archers. They spawn the unit of a shabby, no problem, they'll die in seconds anyway. And I have my unit of a shabby, which I'm gonna spawn. Here, I'm going to the back of these tomb guards. Because this is where it's going to be hard to break them. Horsemen are gone. Where's my big scorpion? Having fun, Scorpion? Right, into the next load. We'll keep on enveloping them. Actually, you go after Setra. Go after Setra, my Scorpion! Archers. Go after the big blob. No spells. Get this on the go. Actually, all archers target this Sphinx. It's got good armor, but there's a lot of units.
Come on, Scorpion. Take out Cetra. That Sphinx is one hell of a lot of health. It's getting hit by so many arrows, but we're still barely dropping its health. Since that Sphinx goes down, though, we're going to be laughing. Because it's taking all the kills. This is what's carving me apart right now. Archers. All go for Cetra. Sphinx. Oh, you're out of arrows. So you are. Ah, no, 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 Arcan, Arcan. Move, 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 Arcan. Get out of there, Arcan. I command Animus. Not a servant. Why are you not firing? He's doing a fire that way, fire that way. We nearly got Cetra down. Come on, Cetra. You know you want to die. Come on, Cetra. Time to die. Look at that damn Sphinx. On Arcan's, eh, Arcan, eh, Cetra's about to go. Cetra's gone. Bro, they're gonna crumble like mad now. Right, the Sphinx is only hang holding them together. Man, look at the kills it's getting. Its leadership's negative four. It should be running. It should be crumbling or running. Negative 54 leadership, it should be dead! Die already! Right for my master. It's nearly dead! It's got so little health left! Yes, it's gone! And with that, they're crumbling. There we go, that Sphinx was holding them together. No, I don't want to lose my Tomb Guard. Oh, Pyrrhic victory. That was harder than I thought it was going to be. Mainly thanks to that Sphinx. That Sphinx is what did the damage. Look at that. Oh. Yes. Cetra the Imperishable perished. He got 71 kills. I thought Cetra was only medical in combat, but he actually did quite good. No, my tomb guard left. That's the main thing. Right. That is a good bit of money. I want the money. I want the money. Money, money, money. Money. And we're back again. Trait gained, Cetra the Perishable. Ah, ha, brilliant! He defeats Cetra the Perishable, gives him 15 charge bonus and free negative free public order. Mission issued. That was brilliant. Hmm. 
Oh, I would like Screaming Skull Capels. How many does it let you recruit? Just the one. Where do we need this money to be spent the most? Probably on making more money. We need money making buildings. We do not have any whatsoever, so I think we'll get. I think we'll get this here. We can see if we can make any money making buildings. Attend your king, slaves. Attend your king, slaves. Let's force march. It has to come out via war. No, 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 war. Still says it's faster to go that way. And now it says it's faster to go that way. Oh, well. Whatever, as long as he's still recovering. Oh, I am not him, I'll get him. Okay. I'm gonna want some global recruitment because I'm gonna want it. Oh, oh, the hex and raves I want. I'll spend a couple of turns getting them. I would really like them too. So should I spend four turns recruiting? Them. I think one of them is spearmen. And we'll see. We'll see if this army needs reinforcements. Alright, let's end turn. And we're back. We've got a dilemma. Gain 40 Canoptic Jars for damaged buildings, or lose 40 Canoptic Jars for a reinforced temple. Hmm. So it's either. The difference is 80 Canoptic Jars, that's quite a big. So would I rather have 80 more Canoptic Jars and all my buildings get slightly damaged or would I rather have 80 less Canoptic Jars and negative 10% buildings for 10 turns. No, I think I'm going to spend the jars. They're there to be spent. That'll save me some money when I'm upgrading. Stiff. Oh, I didn't notice there was a research re Oh, no, it's not. A ah, so the more settlements I've got, the better my research rate will be. That's... Like back in the olden days. Recruit in there. Let's move to there. Then we shall go conquer Zandri. Camry's rival. I thought Zandri was a capital city, it's not Camry. It's just, I was going to say that's quite a big set, and then I realised it. Ah. Hmm. I think we're going to want that there. Just I'd rather save my money for now so we can get more buildings. I would really like a screaming skull catapult. Can't wait to see how devastating it is. I want. I want. 
Oh, and we're getting our fourth dynasty very, very soon. That'll be very nice. Right, let's then turn again. Another dilemma. Men's whose flesh still crowds their bones, with hearts that continue to beat, have been found wandering the land. Throwing themselves upon our mercy, they beg for their lives and freedom to return to their faraway homes. What should we do? Well, I don't think I can afford the public order, so I think we're going to have to go for this one. My master will return. Let's go for increased mobility for the army. To Zandri! Oh, we're just out of range? That's not fair. I thought we were just in range, we're just out of range. Right, give me this guy. In turn time, I think. And we're back. And it looks like Kemri is getting his butt kicked by uh, these guys here. They're a calf dynasty. And we unlocked the Regiment of Renown. Very nice. Xandria shall be mine. Simple enough all resolve. Charge bonus plus 7%. Maybe that's one of these guys, I suppose. And... Let's occupy. Just occupy. They need to prove themselves. Sunscorched spawns, please. Oh, good, got the good buildings there. Oh no, Camry's over here. That's why that's not owned by them. Okay, I assumed Camry was there, but that's the back pyramid on the gash. There's the Tower of Arken, which we want desperately. Tomb Kings. Pride and Service. Dark Brotherhood. Oh. We have a stronger Pride than Pride and Service than Dark Brotherhood. Well, we might not even get that yet. We might just leave it and go straight for another dynasty. Down here, though. We should have our, there he is, Lachamesh of the 4th fourth, fourth Dynasty. He has 8 melee attack, but his Shabbati are a lot stronger. Will be done. Now how much was it for that right, this one? 4,000. Okay. Address me as your highness. Gonna be recruiting for three turns anyway. So there we go, that's three turns worth of recruitment maxed out. And I wanna save up for that uh, guy to come here and go blop too. But we'll wait till this guy's got an army to defend it. Because we're at war here, aren't we? We are. Of 
The next turn you're gonna go for the salt plane. He's gonna come over and the two of them are gonna go after Camry. Then that will just... Will we conquer this corner? Yeah, and we'll just be able to... We'll have a sort of... Oh, I don't have my drawn tool, but then we'll have to... have to turn that on. Well, this area here, we'll be able to just push south. <coughs> Ow. Looks in the gash. We'll be able to get that one. Now, I may just go for these other three. But now beat me with four. Seems the simplest way to do it. Right, anyway, for now, let's end turn. And we're back once again. Arkin had a ranking up. I just bought a um, uh, power drain. I was tempted to get purple sun. I just got power drain. Money, 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 money. Priest King. Ranking up here. Perhaps an agent of Settler. Hmm. Should we get him? Ah, training. Yeah, definitely training. Thus, attend. My dynasty reigns supreme. Get him moving. Oh, he does have a little army here. For screaming skill catapults. Oh, he's got a large army here. Hmm. That they'll be able to hold up though with a tiny Do army, couple of units, probably mainly fodder too. Let's get him moving over. Public order, there's fine. Public corridor will be fine there. And we now have the funds. A unique necrotech capable hero of colonizing a level 3 ruins will be summoned to your faction capital. Reform the right. Awake the Necro Sphinx! Brilliant. I reign. Two turns to that's done though, but we'll be able to move them all down together. And then uh, I shall end turn for now. And actually I'm gonna end part for now. Please have enjoyed this. Join me all next time. Bye bye.